best guess how different is that family or that family is that family life? You know, I think more of the question is how different would we all be? How different would this whole thing be? How different would the industry be? How different would the wheel roll? <laughs> Everything would be different. We would all be different. All of us. Everybody in here would be different. We'll have on different <laughs> clothes. We'll what do you mean? Everything would be different, meaning like you would never ask me that question. Meaning if we sat here right now right. and we got to this point, what like, I don't know, probably more people would be going to college and you know what I'm saying, getting an education to be successful. There might not be any OnlyFans and other things like that, mm -hmm. other, other okay. opportunities like that. So, I mean, are we a part of the cure? Are we a part of the disease? I don't know. All I know is I'm just trying to make it right. Were you ever embarrassed when the tape came out? <laughs> it's a long pause. Yeah. I have kids now, so. When I have kids, yeah. And they go, they Everything that we did now, when I have kids, is just totally different. The whole thing is wacky. Before, I was just like, <laughs> uh, but with my kids, it's not okay. And so, I can't, without me going too far into it, without me getting in trouble, um, yeah, I mean, nah, it's not, it's not okay now. But I'm 43. With, with a kid that's four and a kid that's six. My daughter's six, my son's four. And even though you're young and even in that young kid world, they'll all probably think it's cool. Yeah. Until you have kids. Wow, man. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if we should take him seriously or not because like <laughs> he had moments through this thing where it sounded like he was being like genuine and yeah. sincere. Mm. But then he would do stuff like that where it's just like, what are you doing? Like, I don't know. What what you, you think about would the world be different mm. if the Ray J Kim tape did not exist? Mm. I think it would. I don't. I don't know because I mean, there's other celebrities that have gotten caught doing that too. You know, but um, they didn't have the impact now, that they had. Yeah. Now I would say that if Kim wasn't was never a household name, then yeah, I think I think a lot of things would be different. I think a lot uh, of things would be different. I think I think I think people don't see the impact of Kim Kardashian, and I feel like. Her, because at that time she was just a LA socialite. She was a stylist. She, she was a stylist. She was a, she was in she was the in crowd out there, but we didn't know the world didn't know who she was. Mm -hmm. Ray J and that tape took her to another level to the point where she, her mom flipped it, got the deal with E, and then we rest is history. And then I think the reason why he said what he said was because it's it's we we you know how um, if you watching. Um, the WNBA now they said um, if something blow up and Caitlin uh, Caitlin um, I was say Caitlin Clayton Clark, Clark yeah. they call it the Kate, the Caitlin Clark effect. Well, Kim Kardashian has the Kim Kardashian effect. Oh, yeah, that a know, lot of know. situations change after her mm -hmm. success and people starting to see and some women starting to see like oh that's what we can do. That's and also to me in my opinion shame she she kind of wiped away shame like because mm -hmm. back yeah. in the day I remember like. Rapper Eve, the rapper Eve, when she was doing interviews, and I remember seeing a diary about her, and she was like, "Yeah, the ex stripper," and she was like, "Like I'm ashamed of that," you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I feel like Kim Kardashian now she feels the shame of it, but I don't think back then it was just like it is what it is, and we used it to do something better. But that's what I feel like. I think I think a lot of the OnlyFans crowd look up to Kim Kardashian. I think that's one of their idols. I agree. I think I think that sex tape spearheaded the whole movement. Because after that, you saw Paris Hilton, and you saw other people. It created a mentality. Tommy of, and Pamela Lee. Yep. Yeah. It created a whole mentality of all attention is good attention. Like when you're trying to promote yourself and you're trying to be known, you're trying to be a celebrity. If they're talking about you in any way, at least you're being talked about. At least you're still relevant. And I think that created a whole mindset for people where not just sexually, but just shame in general. People would do a whole bunch of toxic behavior to get attention. That whole tape, that was that was the first of its kind in our space. Like, you know what I'm saying, urban hip-hop culture with Ray J and stuff being involved. So I think yeah. it did spearhead a whole thing where people felt like, where women felt like, okay, it's okay for me to 
be a certain way publicly and dress a certain way and carry myself a certain way because look at Kim, she did it and now she got a bag. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Look at Kim, yeah. now she dating Reggie Bush and like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the toxic culture was kind of fueled, not by that alone, yeah. but it helped fuel a whole toxic culture to where the way we look at relationships, the way we look at like people are not looking at sex like a, a sacred thing. It just something people do. She's been married and divorced several times. Yeah. It's like the sanctity of marriage is out the window. She dating this guy. She dating that guy. It's like, and people still champion her as just this great role model for women. You know what I'm saying? Like, she yeah. did a sex tape. Now, you look at it in the future. Now, he's saying, I got a four-year-old daughter, six-year-old, and they got to live with the fact that their dad was out here publicly just doing this. Like, it's shameful. But yeah. you weren't thinking about that then. All you were thinking about was, how can, I, how can I stay relevant? Yeah, I, and that's the thing that's always bothered me with Ray J. Is like <clears throat> Ray J has always kind of existed in the shadow of, of Brandy. And um, he was also, you know, popular in his own right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he wasn't the greatest music artist. Um, he was not. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, he had some hits that, you he know, better could than go. Lord. Yo, he was better than hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, chill out. That was good. That was to me. Chill out. Lloyd was a legend. Hey, he, uh, he said he had a song, I got one wish, and he named like 30 of them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, Sexy can, I still go. And so, uh, <laughs> but he also had, uh, you know, Wait a Minute, like with, uh, yeah, yeah, with, with uh, Lil, Lil Kim. Kim. Yeah, so yeah. he had some things that, with, that put he, him on the map. And then his acting with um, Sinbad. He had a show with Sinbad. I mean, he was, was on Moesha too. But Moesha. I, I would say this. I would say he was more famous than her. So he, that, he tape, that tape, that tape, honestly to me, his career went down after that tape, in my personal opinion. But it also, didn't really yeah. pop. It didn't go crazy. No, because you know why? Ray J kind of always came off to me as a poser. Like oh, he, he ain't a poser, bro. No, like I'm saying, like <laughs> it felt like he was. It felt like you know, like I mean, even when um, Club Shay Shay, and when they asked him, like, why did you run with a gang? Like you came from this church background this stellar family background like you know your sister's doing this but at the same time you got something to prove some dudes be like that's my sister that's my sister's success that's not my success yeah. that's not yeah, but you know he, what I mean no, but I'm talking about, no, he, I'm I, talking agree, about the I agree with Ryan he, yeah. he always came off like a poser to me too yeah. Yeah. really yeah. Yeah. yeah like like you don't need to be doing this oh you, I see what you mean yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and so you know what their uh, their blood cousin is Snoop Dogg right yeah. I think so yeah. yeah so you got you got this family dynamic that's you know Killing black culture music, and you out here talking about I'm in the but, gang and but, I'm doing. But that. at the same time, it's the same way as a kid that's living in Alpharetta that's got a nice rich family, and he he part of a he part of a set. <laughs> talking about the Migos. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. We've seen that yeah. where kids come from good backgrounds. Yeah, they still part of gangs. They still part trying to be in the streets. They that that's just happened naturally because especially as for boys, it's like yeah. if I'm in a house by myself. Or my dad's there and he kind of not giving me the attention I want. Right. I'm going to mm. go try to find the attention That's otherwise. I was going to say. The culture of gangs, is, yeah. it kind of helps fill the void that you may be lacking. So you may come from a half a million dollar house in Alpharetta where it seems like a prototypical good yeah. family. Yeah. But if you have no relationship with your dad, your mom, or somebody working all the time, you feel ignored. And these people over here showing you a certain kind of love. It's still, it's still corny, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to do it. But... That's why it happened. He you know said saying? he said the reason he got into the gang environment was because his sister was on the road and mm -hmm. his mom was traveling too, and he would be at home with his grandmother, w bored with nothing to do. See that ain't that ain't that ain't <laughs> that's not good enough that's, reason. That's not respectable. Yeah, yeah. I'm not exactly. gonna join a gang because I'm bored. I'm yeah, not gonna yeah, go out yeah. here risk my life and my freedom because I'm bored. It's exactly. better thing to do. get a video game. You know what there's I'm a there's like, a million Ray J's all across the world because everybody see, they, it's glamorized. Yeah. It's told to you that you're cool if you're in a gang. Yeah. You're cool if yeah, you have some dark past. You're was, from a bad area. So people that aren't from those areas feel like they need but, to pretend to be like. But from how many people? How many people was testing him because he was Brandy's little brother? But he also had his own success. You don't think so? Fine. Yeah, nobody was testing him. You don't think excuse. nobody was like you don't you know how people make in the fun streets, bro, in the I'm streets. pretty sure he got tried a couple times. No. Especially if they was living in the hood. I mean, I don't so know. So you gonna go join them? Like what? no, but what I'm saying <laughs> to you is how how it at times how it goes is if you live on a block and that gang represent that block, yeah. you either you you associated regardless if you nah, like where you, you live. You join to prove yourself. Yeah. They picking on you. You be like, man, y'all. Shoot, I can be down. You don't want to fight somebody every day. Yeah. He had success. You get tired of that. He had success as a young boy. 
as a young boy. Like he he's in his and that's even worse. Preteens, but you know what I'm saying, but that's you're in your worse. preteens and you're on television and that's you're making worse. money. Yes, you don't have to so, be in that neighborhood. You don't have to associate with. But those you don't people. know why. He, you don't understand why he was in that neighborhood. Was he? Didn't, he, he told he told him. He said it was because I wanted to be cool. It wasn't because no. But what I'm saying is, if he was there with his grand, let's say his grandmother lived there, and he go outside to play basketball, all these guys is in a blood gang. Eventually, they're going to ask you, what's up? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not just, I think we think it's simple to I, easily I go like, different. I don't have to do that. It's I, like, you have to deal with this every day. You never had to deal with that, Jeremiah? I actually left New Jersey by the time gangs really started popping off. But I, I understand. I gangs were around me. I've, gotcha. I've gangs approached and stuff. You don't, have to, you don't have to do You it. don't. But what I I'm saying, to, I think up. for some people, <laughs> it's like, I don't want to deal with this every day of my life. And but, then when you see rivals, like, where you from? I'm from, are you from part? You're still dealing with some of that stuff. The point is, he, he did what he did. Now, to get to back to the tape, yeah. is <laughs> OnlyFans a result of that? Yes, and that's why I said that. That's why me and James said that Kim Kardashian is a worse influence on her kids than Kanye is right now. Now, when his little site pops up, it's going to be a different situation. <laughs> it's the family business. <laughs> but, but think about it though: who inspired the whole movement to where a porn site will be even? Yeah, it's her. Yeah. She, she. But wait, but wait. Now you mentioned Pam and Tommy Lee. Yeah, Wasn't that that was like the nineties. Yeah, that was the nineties. So you you almost blamed it. No, nah, I said me. that celebrities were doing this though. Oh. That's like it was a. And thing. then I think Paris Hilton was before Kim Kardashian. I'm just saying, like too. it was. It was, it was why, so why this one? Why are we saying that this one made such? Because a big because, Ray J was attached to it. Well, uh, no, I, I so. think it's because Kim Kardashian. Wait, wait a minute. Was wait every, a minute. Are you saying that because Ray J was attached to it? Yeah. That's what made. I think wait, I think wait, I think, wait, I think, wait, I think wait. y'all remember Ray J way different than me. No, it wasn't a lot of y'all gotta understand it wasn't not a lot of black celebrities releasing sex tapes like okay. that. So what I'm saying to y'all is you get with somebody that's a famous person and it hits the streets like that. Famous person. Yeah, he, so I, maybe I, I just no, I, I, I don't remember Ray J being Ray J, famous it, like that. I think it's different because you gotta look at the OJ trial, you know, you got um her dad rock with, with the lawyer or yeah. whatnot. So he was she was somewhat kinda known. Like you it was know more of the and, Kim of it yeah. than the Ray J. It was more of the me. Kim part. So it's like now you got but Ray she J. She wasn't nobody then. But you got a little Ray J. Her history as soon as it happened, it was like, Oh, that's the one from the second. Except from the OJ case. That's what you know made what it. It's OJ lawyer uh daughter. So you see that and then you look at her, she's an attractive female. So what's gonna happen? People are gonna gravitate and look at her anyway. You know what I'm saying? So that right there kind of spearheaded her whole movement. Like you said, you come off the tape, now her mom is monopolizing businesses and all kind of stuff yeah. off of that. So now you look at who Kim Kardashian is. It all started from that sex tape. Yeah. Who Who is the role model for a lot of these young women out here? Who are they looking at saying, I want to be like? They got the TV show. They got the fashion line. They're yeah. doing this like she is influential for a lot of young ladies. I know grown women who will argue. We had some women on the show. <laughs> they almost put me in the headlock. <laughs> arguing, <coughs> arguing, taking up for Kim Kardashian and they don't even know her personally. Yeah. But mm. they were going to jump me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how influential she I is. So I think <laughs> everybody follow what she's doing. So they look at this how Kim got famous. Oh, she got naked. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, she had a sex tape. Oh, that was. Oh, she. But got I, I think I think there's a lead up to some of this because I think also too, um, I think, I think it's a lot of stuff that piled on to that. I think the tape is was one of the things. I think us, I think us in the music in the 2000s talk about strip club culture was another yeah. thing. Yeah. I think it was a lot of stuff that built up to OnlyFans when yeah. when yeah. OnlyFans got hot and people was like. Because originally OnlyFans was like more of a, a musician thing before it turned adult entertainment. So let me ask you this question too. How much does Snoop play into Ray J's complex? Like Snoop is the older cousin, the 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 um the gangbanger, the 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 successful rapper. Yeah. How much does that play into Ray J saying, I wanna be like my cousin, I wanna be in a gang, I wanna be famous for this and famous for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that's what I imagined. He yeah. didn't mention that, but that's what I imagined was yeah. the real pull. Because when I was growing up, I didn't have any cousins to look up to. But I imagine if I did, it would have been. That, that's it felt more, like I, that. To me, that's more of a reason why he would have been in a gang than, oh, I'm whatever, like, getting <laughs> tested. By, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and if somebody is messing with you, isn't it just a phone call you can make? But I feel what he's saying to a certain degree. Because if you're famous and you get money, sometimes people will penalize you because you come from a yeah. good family. They will try to jump on you and pick on you. 
And because really deep down they're jealous because they don't have the situation that you have. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll try to make you feel bad about the success of your family. So in order to avoid that, sometimes you will try to prove yourself by being tough, by joining the game, yeah. by falling under peer pressure to show them like, hey, I'm tough like you guys. And now you're diving into a world you have no business being in and a lot of times that don't end well. But then he said, my homeboys rock with me for whatever I do. They they always, the, my homies always got my back and they always support anything I do. you got more money than all of them. Yeah, but, it, but it's like, <laughs> Like, even if you do goofy stuff, they're not tripping off that. Because a lot of people, a lot of people, I think about this all the time. If I had gone to school with a celebrity that's out there right now doing, you know, big thing, I think the biggest person from my class that did something was he went to, he got on the Atlanta Braves and he was a pitcher, mm -hmm. right? Nobody really care about that. So if you have a celebrity that you went to school with, people aren't really so much hating on you. They're kind of like looking at you like, man, kind of glad you made it. Like, you know, somebody from our school, Some like people, you think yeah. about, you know, um, how they felt about Snoop and uh, what's his name? He went to school with uh, Cameron Diaz. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, those, you see them on TV and you're like, oh, they made it. You don't really want to hate on them because you're like, they got their success. Some depends. People. Depends. It just depends, man. Some it people, depends. they just angry, bro. Like some yeah. folks, like, I'm eating ramen noodles every day. You know now, that might have been the situation. Keep my house with, up with the oven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that might have been <laughs> the situation here, with. Um, you just getting it in. You, you come to school, you got the new shoes on all the time, whatever. Like, people would, like, why you think folks were taking yeah. each other starter jackets and Jordans and stuff like that? Yeah. Like, I can't get it, so I'm gonna take yours. Like, and, I, yeah. and I guess you could use Nipsey Hussle's situation as that. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy, His friend man. being jealous or whatever. Yeah, it happened all the time. Yeah, but I, I do think that Kim and Ray J's tape is definitely um, a culture. It, it contributed, but not because of Ray J. That's that's my opinion. I think yeah, Kim, Kim, Kim was the uh, one. When I first heard about this, it was tied to Ray J. It yeah, wasn't about yeah, Kim. It, it was interesting. Ray like, J's mom, but she was she was the stylist to Ray J's mom, and you know oh, Ray J was the Brandy. She was the stylist to Brandy. Kim okay. Kardashian was the stylist to Brandy. Yeah. Okay, and so you know it was like oh you know she got the attention of her 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 little brother. And her little brother was already famous, and he was already doing movies and television and rapping. None of that stuff. A lot of after the That's tape, she skyrocketed. You know what I'm saying? Like he might have been the reason why they came, but he ain't the reason why they cared after the tape. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So I, I, I get, I get what he's saying, but I, I, what it sounds like to me is he knows he's doing wrong right now, and he, literally, this is like a, I don't even know if he's, his dad's a pastor. But he said Church of Christ, which makes me nervous. So anyway, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say he's, <laughs> this is a prodigal son situation. Yeah. But I'm the question mark on the on the Christian part. And yeah. then so, but it sounds like his sister's like, "Hey, you wilding out." That's what I got from this interview. Mm -hmm. You wilding out. Oh, yeah, she, keeping my distance. Say, yeah, he knows he's doing wrong, but he's like, "I gotta get." I yeah. I know I'm doing wrong, but I gotta get this stuff. But done. then, but then he he's releasing a new app, kind of like. Bad Girls Club, where he yeah. got girls that's fighting. What I'm yeah, but he yeah. know he knows he's doing yeah. wrong. Yeah, which is so just so weird. I, that's what I'm like. I don't know whether to take him seriously because he's like, I am embarrassed. I have kids. Are you really like you're still doing <laughs> yeah. the embarrassing things? Stay relevant right yeah. now. Mm. 